Welcome fellow creators to another exciting Unreal Engine tutorial. In today's video, we'll be exploring the incredible world of dirt mask effects and how to apply them to cameras for stunning visual results. By utilizing the power of dirt mask effect, we can add an extra layer of authenticity to our scenes, making them feel greedy, weathered, and immersive. But that's not all. We'll also dive into the sequencer and learn how to create keyframes for the dirt mask effect enabling us to precisely control its intensity and timing. So get ready to elevate your cinematography skills and bring your scenes to life with the mesmerizing dirt mask effect in Unreal Engine. So as you can see, when we reach to the exterior side of this scene, we have some kind of dirty textured effect on the lens of the camera when we got some lens flares. And that is exactly what the dirt mask is. And I want to show you this effect on the details of the camera that I have used in this scene. And let me just scroll down a bit. And in the lens section, we have a parameter called dirt mask and let's expand it. And as you can see, I have assigned a texture to it. And this texture is one of the templates of the Unreal Engine. And you can simply find it in the map textures folder or another way is to search for the word dirt in the material section of the dirt mask and there we have it and once you have assigned the dirt texture to this dirt mask effect you can simply control the intensity of it from this slider over here but nothing special is happening so let's just go to the outside to have some lens flare effects and let me just increase the intensity of this effect to something like 200. And now you're able to see these dirty textures on the lens of the camera. And by using this, we are able to add some greedy and weathered and also immersive feelings to our projects that we're working on. And now that we know how to use this effect on the cameras and also on the post-process volume effect, let's see how we can use it on some special frames in the sequencer. All right, as you can see, we got a camera shake effect on this sequencer and also some keyframes on the location of the camera and also on the rotation of it. And also we have some keyframes on the manual focus distance. And nothing special is happening here, but I want to add some dirt mask effects between these three keyframes of the manual focus distance when we reach to the outside of the cabin. So let's click on this add track on the camera components and go to the post process settings. And we have this lens slash dirt mask and let's add the intensity keyframes to the sequencer. And I'm going to do the same process again, so you would better remember the path. And we're also able to add the tint for this dirt mask to control and add some special colors. But in this session, we're not good into that. So let's continue. I want this dirt mask effect to start increasing from this frame. So let's add a keyframe and let's put the time slider on this frame. And I'm going to increase the intensity of the dirt mask and you can see how it works on the viewport. It's like increasing the dirt textures on the lens of the camera. And in my opinion, this amount is okay. And notice that this auto key button is activated. So whenever I change the amount of any component, it will automatically add a new keyframe. And as you saw in the last keyframe, I just decreased the amount of the dirt mask effect, but not too much. And there you have it, my fellow creators. We reached the end of this enlightening journey into the world of dirt mask effects in Unreal Engine. By mastering the art of applying dirt masks to cameras and utilizing keyframes in sequencer, you now poses a powerful tool to add depth, realism, and an extra touch of magic to your visual creations. Whether you're crafting a post-apocalyptic wasteland or a vintage film-inspired masterpiece, the possibilities are endless, so go forth, experiment, and let your imagination run wild. Remember, it's the subtle details that make all the difference. Thank you for joining me, and until next time, happy crafting!